So in this demo, we're going to show how we can control user access when they sign into our captive portal. There are many ways we can control user by speed, by time, or even by different sign options. So what you see here is a user interface for the administrators when they sign when they log into the inbox UI. You can create user locally by username or password, or you can create a MAC address when the authentication is asking for MAC authentication only, for example, for a particular device device, or you can do pin code authentications. For, for any of this account, you can control access by speed, upload or download, or by time, session time, idle time, or time of the day, and even waiting time. And also by number of concurrent devices per account. That means the same account, you can log in by how many concurrent devices, or you can even lock this particular account to a particular device, only this device can log into the Wi-Fi system using this account. You can also set data volume, how, what is the quota in terms of gigabytes, or you can set expiry date and time, and also you can set a redirect URL, which is the landing page after the user login. So you can set different landing URL when they log into the system, they get different promotions and campaigns. And the settings can be done on a per user account basis, or you can set it to a profile and apply this profile to the user. So you say the same thing on the profile, and the, when the user is attached to this profile, they will inherit whatever access control that you set on the profiles level. So what I have here is one profile for Facebook sign-in, and you, you pretty much have the similar options here when you do the same control on a per-user account basis. And I've set it to 10 Mac. What this means is if the user sign in using Facebook account or the social media, I get they get 10 Mac upload and download speed. If they sign using email self registration, they get 5 Mac upload and download. And when the user sign using social media or self registration, the account will be automatically created and they will be attached to the profile and they will inherit the access control from the profile level. Or for this too, I just going to show the differences when they apply to the account level and you can see the same differences. So now I'm going to do the testing from the user level. So I've already associated to the SSID. So once I start browsing, I can I will be prompted with the landing page to log in. I will log in with the demo user first. The demo user has no restriction when I create this account. So once I sign in, I can do the speed test. And if you look at the demo user account while waiting for the speed test again, and there's really no access control info, no profile, no settings on this account. So he really gets unlimited access or, or rather whatever is available from the network. So I'm having a hundred Mac links. So I'm getting pretty good Wi-Fi connection as well. So the next is I'm going to log in with a limit user, which is another account that has uh, access restriction enforced. So I have to log out so that I can log in with the other user account. So I'm going to log in with the limit user account. Limit user. So on this limit user, uh, once I log in, you can actually see the online user, that's me. And on this user, because I have really said access speed to be five Mac. So I'm going to do the speed test again with this user, just to make sure whatever speed I get is matched to whatever setting we have here. You, you could get less, but you cannot get more because we are doing the limiting for this user account. Uh, you get less could be because of the Wi-Fi or the network is congested. So that's basically uh, controlling on the user level. Remember, we have set it on a profile as well. So we set a profile for Facebook to have, if you sign using Facebook, you get 10 Mac. You, if you sign using email, you get 5 Mac as well. So I'm just going to sign using this two options now. So I will sign out first and sign in as Facebook.
So I'm successful. I'm so I'm going to do this speed test again. So the moment I sign using Facebook, if you go to the UI of the administrator, an account is created and is automatically attached to the Facebook profile, which has that 10 Mac speed control. So I'm just going to do the speed test again. So I'm getting pretty close to what's been configured on the profile. So really that's, so whether the setting is done on the user or on, on the profile, it gets similar result. The, dis, the huge difference is, especially if you're doing self sign up or social media sign, you, you can only set the setting on the profile because the user account is dynamically added each time when, the, when a new user sign, connects in. So let's say now I'm just going to sign in using email, log out and log in. I'm going to use email this time. And because I first time I'm connecting, I'm just going to have to sign up. So when you sign up using email, you'll be getting a free 10 minutes access for you to log into your email to check your validation link. That's how we make sure whatever email you put in here is a valid, accurate email. So once the validation is done, you will see the new account has been created using the email ID and automatically attached to the email profile, which has that 10, 5 Mac restriction. And I'm going to do this speed test again. And this time I sign using email. So you can really play around with the profiles and user ID to offer different user experience. And especially if you want to encourage users to sign using social media more often so that you can set higher speed to social media profile because social media allows you to capture the user info more flexibly or rather easier. It really depends on your requirements. So now pretty much we're getting five Mac when the user sign using email.